Hey guys, it's Burgos here and today I'm going to talk about how to get more resources. I ask basically a couple of the top players and they give me some secrets how to actually proceed in the Heroes of History Epic Empire. So I'm going to start with some tips that maybe you already know, but yeah, maybe some of them are that you don't know or maybe you can get just a second opinion over what is going on here and how to go further in your game basically yeah getting resources first thing yeah i, I mean i'm not going to mention that deep the obvious ways <laughs> currently the resources i have is getting these gold coins coin storage and we have a food now we already have some buildings that uh, when you progress just level up the buildings i think this is maybe the most obvious thing to go for now depending what is required here you may actually need and go search for these items now the good thing about this game is it shows you where you can actually find those things uh, most of the times it's going to need some research i'm not so sure should i actually go that much in deep over this but yeah, you basically have to build your farms where you can get uh, some resources now here is the tricky part about this and uh the human management basically these bad boys right here this is uh, the place where you should be very careful and the main reason you should level up these small ho small homes in these small homes you can receive more um or workers and you can send them to actually go and farm currently for this uh, uh, rural farm <laughs> I need two workers sometimes you're going to need to for example take out these workers and go and build something or expand territory it didn't actually matter after this as you can see you already have an uh, how to say a sign that this farm currently is not working now it look obvious but some people actually forgot about this and yeah try to upgrade it when you can of course it's going to be uh you're going to need researches also in this direction it's not like most of the games is something like you level up some specific building for example your castle and after you level your castle you can level rest of the rest of the buildings here is not actually the case here you're going to just need to have um, some researches and the researches you can get by either watch some uh, advertisements here you can actually go watch and this is the beautiful thing about this game is now some people are going to say yo there is a lot of ads for this and that but in order at least from my game experience in order to make the things more free to play friendly there is a developers behind that is actually maintenance this uh this game uh, this is not sponsored thing just to mention that but there is a people who take care of the game and they, they, they also have to get their salaries so i have no issue for example to get some ads even if, if you watch this video right now most likely you're going to just get some ads in front before the video start so it's, it's it's not a big issue for me but yeah researches is something that you should go and this is your progress uh currently i'm in the bronze bronze age but yeah, further this thing is going to increase with increasing the era is also going to increase the times of the buildings something that i really noticed but yeah this is one of the ways take care take care of your storage try to have enough Currently, I can even upgrade this thing. I'm going to start it, and as you can see, it's going to cost some gems. I don't suggest people use their uh, to use your gems at early stages. It's just little pointless, in my opinion. And when actually there is very important moment for you, you most likely going to need those uh, those gems. Uh, it can be for summonings just to increase uh, how many heroes you have or it can be for anything and i don't suggest also go for uh, this thing um which is expansion territory expansion uh the main reason with the gems is it's not that 
I mean, you're going to just throw your gems and you can get those things from different places. Now uh, you can go from here, you can just go and fight. And the rewards, you're going to see in the campaign, there is a rewards. Uh, that is going to give you, for example, research. Even this puzzle, legendary um, antimatter piece, you get 20. You're going to summon either level uh, 4 or 5 star hero. Which is very good, but yeah, keep your progression on, and by progressing, you may also get some extra stuff. As you can see, it's twenty gold, but in this the, for the campaigning is not that important. I mean, they are most likely going to get this thing, experience points that you're going to need for your heroes to level up your heroes, and this thing uh, that is also needed from Bronze Age. Um, Technologies. So the I have said the campaigning is maybe not the best place to go for the resources. Of course, here you can farm resources. It's something like the campaigning is not that um is for, for example this one is giving this thing, but as you can see here you can get some gold. Here you can get some of these uh screws to level up your heroes. This is absolutely the same, for example, here. You see, you, you can get more crystals from here. The rewards is 90% to get this one, 10% to get two of them. But you still have uh, this gold that is going to give you after you finish this campaigning. So one of the steps to get more resources um, in the Heroes of History Epic Empire is just farming specific campaigning. But boy, stamina in this game is very precious resource. Because uh, you can go, either go for campaigning or you can go to ascend your heroes or, yeah, ascend your heroes by going and fighting for with the Tesla guy. Current time in the stage uh, 6 and I cannot actually proceed. The main reason is I just have 3 heroes for the stage 6. You're going to need 4 heroes. And to let my heroes is level 20, 3 of them. Uh, but it's not enough to actually defeat this stage and I have some good heroes by the way good fire heroes and yeah the other thing is uh, going here as you can see here is reward you can see what you can get in this chest you can get 1350 100 or one of these pieces I really don't know why they actually make make a little pieces for a single summoning I mean this is a normal summoning <laughs> uh, but yeah it is what it is so here i have to watch one ad to open this one so if you don't want to or you don't have the time to watch an ad you can just go get something else here for example you can see you solve that it's going to give different rewards to be honest uh it depends but always gather all the things here there is very very nice uh, one that is like 90 minutes what is going on <laughs> brother so yeah we level up this thing can we upgrade going to request a research and yeah take care of the farms now the important thing here is uh keep this in mind with the farm something like investment i mean at some point like you level up something is going to cost you resources and most of the times it don't cost food now food you can use for level up your heroes and uh, for example 20 20 20 but if you have level 10 you can basically level up this hero as you can see it's needing these screws and food and this separate the things what i mean by that is coins is for buildings basically to build your buildings uh, and food is mostly for the heroes. This is how I see the things. But anyway, how to get even more of these resources? You can go and do some quests. Sometimes the quests are going to give uh, some resources. Sometimes they're not going to go. I strongly suggest go and do all of your quests because, uh, for example, when I do this one, have two little creatures. Does okay? We're going to have this one. Okay, we don't have any available workers, and here comes the issue. 
Uh, I have to stop this farm to have two workers on my side. So I'm going to be able to build these two small. Uh, I got. <laughs> uh, to build this small. This small culture or something. I'm not familiar with all the names, but this is the other thing. Yeah, this actually remind me for the next step. And this is uh, having. They said very good these things so it catch more of these things. <laughs> these things. Now this is going to increase your productivity and by having you can check it out this thing uh, when you click over here. You're going to see that this farm is very happy. That means you're going to have like 198 per hour. This is food. Now, this is in extra. This is bonus for production in extra. So, if you have it like this, basically nothing is covering. And I'm sure I have some of them that are not covered. Look at this. This thing, this thing is not covered. So, it's going to be just the normal uh, 600 production per... Per... Uh, per... Two, per three hours. Basically, per three hours. But in the same time, if I check one of the happy one, it's going to be 1.173 uh, gold. So this is close to double increase. And this one is not even this thing. So as you can see, the difference is it's huge. When you place these buildings, it's going to be... Um, they, they should cover as much as the resources you're needing. Even this thing actually requests... Uh, let me try again. As you can see, this thing is not getting anything, but I think it can. As you can see, uh, zero. And here is pointing how much it needs. Do you see that? 366, 777, 1010. Get plus nine per hour. And this one currently is, I really don't know how much per hour is this. Uh, but it is good. Okay, let me just okay upgrade. It's for now. It's like ten per hour. So this is going to even double the speed of this building. And here you're training your skills of these soldiers. Uh, for example, currently is this bad boy here and his ability. This thing that is level two that I currently I'm training right now. Now this is not so much resource based. But it's with crucial importance find a way to spread these smiley faces over the important buildings uh, you want. Now, it's going to be a little hard, I'm not going to lie, especially when there is not that much space. Uh, every time I try to change something, by the way, you can go and change it just by clicking on the move. It's going to open you and you can point something and maybe move it somewhere. But... The, the the space is not that much by looking the space this is not that much so you have to be very careful how you post this thing it should try to catch as much uh buildings as it can and I, I think this one is with huge priority this thing is with huge priority since by boosting your hero skills they're going to do more damage more healing more whatever and like this in the fights, you're going to progress even more easy because not everything is actually getting the resources. You have to also take care for. Uh, you also have to take care for your heroes, and your heroes are going to need going to need uh, the skills to be upgraded. Now, currently, I have this one that I actually buy. Uh, I have like 24 hours to buy it and I, I, you know, when I start one game, I, I have no issue to spend it on money at the beginning. And sometimes it, small things at the beginning make the huge difference in some game that you play and I play a lot of games. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, this is the tips uh, I can actually uh, share with you. If there is something that you should take from this video as the most important important thing is maybe the right positioning of this 
moderate culture culture side. I think this thing, if you manage to make it the right way, you're going to have tons of resources because even if you go for this one, yeah, it, it's it's cool, but in same time, it's not that many. It's not like you have so many opportunities here. Right now, it's only two, and even if you upgrade this thing and maybe upgrade it, okay, I need again one worker, so. Where all of my workers go? Okay, they're building here. So you're going to left and right stopping workers from working to do some kind of upgrades, which is completely fine. But with the upgrades, also increase. Okay, we can get it right now. Uh, also increase how many. Why well, I cannot click on this thing? How many sun is going to request? Because maybe I can give an example. Some wall level. Do I have some wall level? I think, yeah. This one right now is so happy, but in general, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to spend more time. I think most of the people understand. Everything is around this statue, and you have to position them very, very, very right. And this can cost time. <laughs> this can cost time. That's why just get even more this territory expansion, not with gems. You can get them just by progressing in campaigning. And more further you are in one campaigning, most likely you're going to receive more of this. Um, of this territory expansion and this is going to help you at least be one idea more easy position of your buildings around this uh thing this moderate culture stats and the game actually provided with a lot of them bro i have a lot of them uh there is one spot for example this one is, is taking like four four cubes this one is taking a single one <coughs> Mm, sorry about that. Uh, we have two one. This actually take only two one. So we have two one and four. And currently I will have a huge. Um, what's it? Uh, I will have to spend like maybe five minutes to restructure everything because I have new buildings coming that I want to place. And those buildings, depending on the building and how important it is for me. I'm going to need to make uh, changes here, <laughs> rebuild my city. But with these things, you can basically you so you can double, basically double your production in the city. And of course, as I mentioned, the rest of the things you can go and do, uh, and of course some quests. Right now, when I'm going to go, F1 range level two. The game even suggests you directly actually point at where you should focus on. And it's pretty not that hard game uh, to begin with. But yeah, it is what it is. This is my tips. This is what I learned from some of the players. Basically positioning of this and getting those rewards that are here and there. Just watching some videos here. This thing is going to take some time uh, to be done. Progress, level up your heroes. Level up your castles is at the moment it's not big. Um, there is not big uh, a lot of places where you can actually get uh, more of these resources, but this is basically the best ways. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your personal opinion. Let me sh if you have to add something or to share, feel free to write it in the comments below. Uh, it's still early in this game. So not everybody's having huge tips and tricks, but yeah, just share it in the comments below. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.